In this video I'm going to show you how to reassemble the fire control group in an Intratech Tech 9. <clears throat> There's not any videos on this or any instructions uh, or anything and it's kind of a it's kind of a difficult thing to do. So here you have the fire control group. I'll give you a really good look at it all the way around so you can see how it goes together. Right now I have it held together with a slave pin. You can see the orientation of the trigger here. And the sear and the disconnector. See where I have this hanger? And where I have this little pin here, there's a notch on the top side of this pin right here and that's where you want this leg to rest on the spring you want it to rest inside that little groove there because that's going to retain this pin okay so hopefully you got a good enough view here you have to have a slave pin to do this job there's no way you could put the fire control group back on a tech 9 without a slave pin so what we want to do is set this down inside and we want this leg right here we want to bend it around to the front and let me show you where it's going to rest it's going to rest right in here on uh, I can't really get a good picture here but right in here to the right uh, of this section right here you'll probably already have a groove where the spring has worn itself in there so um, Get yourself a pin that you can slide through to knock the slave pin out and keep it in place. Take your fire control group, put the trigger down in first. So I'm taking this spring here and compressing it. I'm going to try to get the trigger down in. This is the first time I've done this. Um, and like I said, there's not any information on the internet on how to do it. So that's why I'm trying to do a video on it so if somebody else runs across this ouch, I know how to do it okay so I put the trigger in place first and then try to give you a good angle here's that spring leg I'm gonna push it over and up and the spring leg is gonna rest right here on the inside of this lug on right on the inside of it and I'm pushing down with my thumb to hold everything in place. See how the trigger is? And then we're going to pivot it forward until, uh, until we can see our, our holes in here. And we can push, it, push our pin through and get our slave pin out. It's going to be kind of tricky. Uh, we're going to have to do it all at the same time without losing any parts. Okay. All right. I've got this in mostly aligned. Okay, there we go. Alright, so try to give you another view of how everything should look. Trigger is still a little bit too far forward because um, we haven't got everything aligned yet, but I've got it all retained by this pin. And it goes this top hanger section here, the spring, the trigger, and then back to, through the top section here. And then this pin, this connector pin and spring are being retained and cannot come out because of that trigger leg is in the groove there. So now 
can uh, put some oil on this pin to help it in because this rear pin is kind of tight and start pushing this thing back through so this is going to be a pain also hopefully so we don't lose any parts go flying I'm just pushing it a little bit. I'm not pulling this out. I'm letting this pin push push my punch through for me. All right, the pin is starting to go in. It's just about to go through the trigger. Still looking good. Still looking good. The hard part is going to be the next part, getting this pin through the spring without losing the spring. Okay, I think I got it. Go ahead and tap it in the rest of the way. And you can check for uh, check for function here. Go ahead and pull the trigger. This assembly should uh, should go down. Awesome. So that piece is back together. That's uh, the fire control group for a Tech 9 or an Intratech AB10. You know, they're all the same. I hope you were able to see what I was doing here, and I hope this helps you out. If you uh, drove this pin out and your spring went flying and you weren't able to see the orientation of it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments.